All right, this is Ken Rosever, and I'm here with one of my students whose name will not be revealed. And we're going to go over this problem, which is a problem dealing with projectile motion. So it says the general formula for the height of a projectile given in feet t seconds after its launch is given as s of t equals negative 16t squared plus vot plus so. Vo, v naught, is the initial velocity, s0, s naught is the initial height, and s of t is the height at time t in function notation. This thing gives the height in feet t seconds after launch. All right. What we have to do in part a here is determine the specific function for this particular object. The object is launched at 200 feet per second. Feet per second, is that a velocity or a height? It's a velocity. All right, so that's our velocity. Velocity is another word for speed. And from a height of 64 seconds, or 64 feet rather, this is our initial height. So the specific function for this guy is s of t equals negative 16 t squared plus, this is where the 200 goes in, 200 t plus 64. So that was the answer to that first one. And um, I forget that I think that was worth maybe one point. Now in part B we want to determine exactly the maximum height reached by the object. So this is a parabola. Um, if you graph this thing you would have height on the the y-axis s of t. You would have t on the x-axis for seconds you would see this thing starts at a height of 64, it goes up for a certain amount of time, and then it comes back down. And when I ask for the maximum height, I'm asking for this distance here. I want to know, what is this height? This height occurs at this time, and this time and this height together are the vertex. So I'm trying to find the vertex. So to find the vertex, we know the vertex is h comma k. And h is always equal to negative b over 2a. b in this case is 200, so it's negative 200 divided by 2 times negative 16. And if you divide that out, you'll get um, 6.25 seconds. Uh, let me check that. Yeah, that seems right. Once you know that, you can find k by either using the formula k is equal to c minus h squared, or you can also do k will be s of the value you got for h. If you plug this into this formula, you get the same thing. So I'll do that one because it seems a little easier. Um, so it's going to be Actually, let me write this a different way as a fraction. Um, this was 100 over 16. It's 50 over 8. It's 25 over 4. So this is 25 fourths. So plugging this in, and you could use a calculator on this part, but I don't have one. So here we go. Plus 200 times 25 over 4 plus 64. 4 goes into that 50 times. This will be a 16, this will be a 625, the 16 and cancel, you get negative 625 plus 12, 50, so that'll be 625 plus 64, you get 689. So you get 689 feet. It's good. And you would just evaluate with that, that with the decimals. Um, and that wouldn't be so bad. So anytime they ask you for a maximum or a minimum and the parabola, the, the equation is parabolic, you're looking for the vertex. All right. Um, the next question was write 
the equation one would solve to determine how long it takes the object oh until the object hits the ground don't solve it though I just want the equation so the ground is how high zero so the equation that one would solve is this equal to zero and then you could find the t that gives you zero for the height and to actually solve that you would go and use probably the quadratic formula All right, but you didn't have to solve it you just had to write the equation and you got those points and now the last part <clears throat> we want to determine by graphing at what times the height of the object projected will be 400 feet above the ground so I'm looking for when negative 16 t squared plus 200 t plus 64 that's my s of t I want to know when it will be equal to 400 um, we can reduce this equation by dividing everything by uh, negative 8 if we wanted to just to make the number smaller that would give me a 2 t squared minus 25 T minus 8 equals 50 negative 50 and then you can add 50 to both sides if you want or you could actually call this y1 and this y2 and solve it by graphing from there uh, I'm gonna do this so that comes out to negative no, positive 42 equals 0. I'm not going to try to factor that or use quadratic formula. I'm just going to put that in my calculator and look for when it hits the ground. Now here's a big hint. If you go back up here, if it takes 6.25 seconds to get up, it's probably going to take 6.25 seconds to get back to that same height. But then it has a little further to drop. So if you double 6.25, you get 12 and a half. So it's probably going to be a little more than 12 and a half seconds. Does that make sense? Um, so what I'm going to do in my window is I'm going to make sure my window at least goes out to maybe 20 seconds, just to make sure that I can see where it hits zero. So let me get my calculator here, and I'll turn it on. I'm going to clear that. I still want that to be zero, so I'll leave that one alone. But I'll put in 2x squared uh, minus 25x plus 42. And now let me adjust my window. Zero to 16, that might do it actually. I don't need a lot of height or depth because I'm just looking for where it crosses zero. So I don't really care to see the whole parabola. In fact, this isn't even the real parabola because I reduced it, right? I divided everything by negative 8. This is an equivalent equation. So let me graph it. All right. It actually looks like there's two different times at which I have solutions to this equation, which means there's two times at which it's at a height of 400. And that makes sense. Once on the way up and probably once on the way down. So to find them, I hit second, calculate. I want the intersections. And I'm doing intersection because there's actually a line you can't see on there. It's y equals 0. So I can do second calc intersection because there's actually two lines on there. y1 is this line. I'm going to select that by hitting enter. y2 is this other line. You can see I'm on the x-axis. All right. I'll hit enter. Now it's going to ask me to make a guess. If I want this one, I'll guess near that one. If I want the other, I'll guess near that. So it's telling me at two seconds. So one of the answers is two seconds. And the other answer, I gotta go second calc, number five, enter, enter. And now to get my guess, actually instead of moving over, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten seconds. That's my guess. And there it is at ten and a half. All right. 
So those are the two answers. And um, I think earlier I said that if it takes 6.25 seconds to get up, it's going to take about 6.25 to get down. So it would hit the ground about right, you know, a little past 12. So that's why I set my window where I did. Because I know that if it goes up and it comes down, then all that has to be accomplished before it hits the ground. Does that make sense? And so you get your two answers, and it's good. If you solve this and it doesn't hit the x-axis, what that would tell me is it would never hit that height. But in this case, you see this is 400, and this is 689. I know it's got to hit that height somewhere in there, because 400 is more than 0 and less than 689. 